Well, hello there, my live lovelies. How are you all? I hope you're okay. And um, yes, welcome back. I'm sorry about the little break, uh, but did want to say goodbye to our queen and just have a little bit of a break. Um, anyway, onwards with the video. There, it, there comes a time in a resin artist's life where... They feel the urge to make moulds for some bizarre reason. It happens to all of us, I think, sooner or later. <laughs> so I've bought myself some of this diffraction grating stuff. Um, and it's got like a holographic side and a non-holographic side. So the idea um, is that you pick one, I think, that has more than 30,000 lines in it or something. And... Um, you chuck it on a greaseproof paper in a pan, mix up your silicone and then pour it on ideally from a height. So I'm not doing it right here. Um, I'm trying to sort of place it in, in the middle, but I don't know why I bothered because I'm such a mus messy crafter, as you will know if you've been, if you've watched any of my videos, um, that it was always going to run off. So... <laughs> So that's really all there is to it. Um, now you can, uh, you do have to be a bit careful when you're making a mould of anything and um, not to get any finger marks on it. And the same goes for this diffraction grating. So the best thing to do is you can take a wipe with some isopropyl alcohol and give it a good a good wipe to get any finger marks off and that's the same goes for anything else that you are trying to cast because silicone will pick up um, every single nook and cranny of anything that you try and mold just FYI so as you can see what I'm trying to do is make a fairly thin holographic mold here and just spread it out a bit like butter um to the edges so i can make a little sheet of holographic um sort of texture as it were and the idea is that you can lay it on top or you can put resin on it um on the silicone to get that holographic effect now also as i understand it is uh, the holographic effect is more noticeable, I believe, if you use um, black resin or dark resin. Uh, but we shall we shall see what happens, and that's really it. So this is my first ever mold, um, and we. So I thought I'll make this, and then I'll make another video, and show you. Um, how i get on because to be honest you, you i do see a lot of mold making on youtube and i thank anybody who um honestly having done it myself i put my hands up to any mold makers it really is not as easy as others make it look i mean i am i am the the litmus test i think you know if i can do it anyone can do it <laughs> if i can't do it then there, there's probably a little bit more to it possibly not much but probably a little bit more to it anyway coming to the end and we're going to go to the demold are you ready looks you can but it's not giving giving up particularly easily so let's just have a look and see if i can pull this up let's do a bit a bit forceful so this is what i'm doing i'll just peel this off from here maybe so that's the other side of the diffraction gray painting okay so this is just the pouring underneath right that's the line there and then I'm just going to peel this off from here so I'm really hoping that that 
dear. Now, I don't think that has worked. Do you? We'll have to see if it has. But for some reason, do you know what? Oh no, I think it has actually. But it's super subtle. Can you see? Can you see at all? Right, well, I'm going to have to have a play with this and see if, that, as you can see, for some reason, the diffraction grating has got damaged and has marked. So what I'm going to do is tidy this up, maybe put these into smaller sheets. But I think the um, the hollow effect has definitely transferred, but so has a lot of the marks, <laughs> which you can understand. But yeah, and then I'll have a go and see if it actually works. I'll do a pour. So check out my next video and I will give this a go and see if it works. Okay, thank you so much. Bye.